supermarket shelves have been stripped bare as desperate Venezuelans stockpile food ahead of today's devaluation of their currency. As five noughts were knocked off banknotes, businesses stayed shut and queues formed at cash points. President Nicolas Maduro this week announced yet another recovery programme. He claimed it was an economic war waged by the country's enemies. Venezuela sits on top of the world's greatest proven oil reserves, but its citizens needed fistfuls of notes to buy a few eggs. Inflation is predicted to hit 1 million percent this year. Before today's change, a kilo of potatoes would set you back 283,000 bolivars. A single chicken, 15 million bolivars. Who wants to be a millionaire has been taken off air. Even with the top prize raised to 2 million bolivars, it was meaningless. That's equivalent to just 13 pence. With such fundamental economic problems, can the new currency really make any difference? Not according to Dr. Asa Kushak, who follows the fortunes of Latin America. You won't have to carry a plastic bag full of banknotes to go and buy a, a chicken, but you know, if they don't change the underlying problems, no, not really. I mean, the problem at the moment is that the government is just printing money, really, to, to pay off um, debts and its fiscal deficits in various kind of public institutions. Hugo Chavez's popularity was helped by high oil prices and production, providing plenty of money to pump into social projects. But his successor has faced growing unrest since 2013, with allegations of corruption and economic mismanagement. Just last month, there was an assassination attempt. The president spotting a drone, carrying explosives during a parade and being shielded by his security. There is now a mass exodus from Venezuela. But these economic migrants are not wanted. On the border with Brazil, burning barricades and a terrible dilemma. Starvation and despair at home or rejection abroad. Juliet Bremner, News at 10.